Rabosai, we are on Daf Lamed Ches Amud Aleph at the very top of the page, the second word on the line. Nikonor Nasinisad Lasoso. We mentioned earlier that that uh, that Nikonor, there were miracles that were done with his doors, the copper doors that he donated to the Beis Hamikdash. Tana Rabbanu, we learned in the Brayisa, Ma Nisim Anasil Lasoso. What were the miracles that were done to his doors? Amru, they said, Kashalach Nikonor Lahavi Dlasos Me Alexander Shemitzvayim. When Nikonor went to bring back these these bronze doors, these copper doors from Alexandria in Egypt. Uh, for the eastern gate of the temple courtyard, on the way back on the on the ship, a a storm stirred up. There was a, or, or was a big pardon me, there was a big wave in the sea that came up. Letabo uh, wanted to to sink him. So the people, the, the the sailors, took one of the one of the gates and threw it, one of the doors, and threw it into the sea. But still, the sea did not rest from its anger. So the sailors wanted to throw in also the second one already. So he wrapped his arms around it. He wouldn't let them. He said to him, "He throw me in with it. Throw me into the sea together with the door." So immediately uh, the, the sea rested from its ire. And he was he was sad about the about the second door that was already that was thrown over the over the ship. When he got to the to the port of Akko, the, the door was peeking out. The door that they thrown over was peeking out from under the from under the sides of the ship. Yeshom and other people say Balato. Some people say that some creature of the sea swallowed it up, the Kata Levasha, and spit it up onto the ground. The Allah Omar Shlomo, and this is what Shlomo said in the Pasak about this summer said in the Pasak, Koraz Basenu Arazim, the walls of our house is is some Arazim, from the Arazim but wood. We we atenu and and the the um the door uh Brotim is from is from Brot. I'll take a brotim. Don't read from brotim. Ella briasayam. Rather, read briasayam, a creature of the sea, and that's really what happened. Lefika uh, kol hashayim shayu b'migdash, and therefore, all of the gates that were in the in the temple, all the doors, nishtanu liyos shalzav. Later, when they had money, they changed them all to gold. Chutz mishayim nikana, except for the gate, except for the gates of nikanor. Okay, why? Because of the miracles that happened, so they kept them. In these these copper ones, some people say the reason was no, it was simple ways because because all these miracles happened. The other ways because they themselves they 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 shine very very much. Okay, the, the copper shine very much, just like just like gold. He says it was very pure copper, like a very refined copper. I saw I saw miracles He said it would shine just like gold. It says the Mishnah. We mentioned those. We mentioned people who donated nice things to the base of Migdash, and they were mentioned in praise. And these family, following families, are mentioned for the opposite, for denigration, because they refuse to share their knowledge. Shall base Garmu didn't want to teach uh, how to, as we'll see, their their secret for how to make the lechem upon him, the bread that was on the table. Shal Beis Avtinas, Lord said, Lamed HaMasek Torah, Beis Avtinas was also remembered as negatively because they didn't want to teach people how to make the incense, as we'll see. Hogas Ben Levi, uh, and, uh, he was from the family of the of the Leviim, Hayadeh Perak Bashir, he knew a way to sing in a particularly beautiful way, but Lord said, Lamed, he didn't want to teach that. Bem Kansa, Lord said, Lamed HaMasek Sav, Bem Kansa didn't want to, want to teach the way, that a special way of writing that he could, he could tie four pens to his four fingers and write four letters at once. Allah we shown him on the previous ones we said that, that, that in the previous mission of where, where, we, where we praise them. It says, you remember the tzaddik with the bracha. These ones that say, see here it says the name of the, the name of the wicked shall rot. We learned that Abayi said, "Beis Karma, he became a masi lechem upon him." Beis Karma was experts in the bread that went on the table. Well, the Ratzel Lamed didn't want to teach it to others. Shalshal to the rabbi said, "Okay." Shalchol chum vebiu money from Alexandria. Hashem et Zayim. So the rabbi sent out, and they got they got craftsmen from Alexandria in Egypt. Why you yodim lefos? 
Kamosa, they did know how to bake the bread just like them, but Loy Yodim Lirdos Kamosa, but they didn't know how to take it off. Okay, no, why when they couldn't take it off, it would like it would break. Okay, Shalalu Masikame Bakhutz well from Bakhutz. And so what happened was therefore the the, the the experts of Alexandria they would heat the oven from outside and, and, and bake it bake it on the outside, on the wall of the oven. But these people, base Garmu, were so expert they could they could put they could heat the oven from the inside and put the baked bread on the inside, still get it off whole. Halalu Pita Mitapesha. So what happened was so the so the people of Alexandria ostensibly because because, because they were using a less heated oven, okay, metapesha. So their pita metapesha. So their bread would rot, their bread would would rot. You know, it would it would go moldy. Malola ain't pita metapesha. But base garmu who not to do it in the inside. They did it with a hot oven. Their bread did not go moldy. Because Shemuel Chachamim Badavar, when the rabbis uh, when the rabbis uh, 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 heard that that the that the people they brought from Alexandria are not successful, Amru they said, Call Mashabra Kodesh Baruch Hu for the Baruch. Everything Hashem made, He made for His honor. Shenema, as it says, Kol Shenikv Bishmi Lechvod the Baruch. Everything that I call by my name and and you, and 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 you can read for my honor, I created them, and for my honor, I created them. The Chazer Beit Shammai the Koman. So they brought them back. So they so they said so they decided to bring back Beis Karma to their place. Shochlem Chachamim Velobo. The rabbis tried. They invited them. They told them to come. They didn't come. Koflem Scharan. They they doubled their pay. Ubo, and then they came. The Choyom and the Nolotim Shnei Masamana. They every day they used to take them. They used to they, they used to take twelve mana a yom. And now after they after they after they added to that. They took 24. Rabbi Huda Amar B'chol Yom Esrim Ba'arba, where he said, no, he said every day it was really what? It was really 24. Ayom, and now, Arba uh, Mishma, they began to take 48. Amal and Chachamim, the rabbi said to them, Mari some Shalalam, and what is it? What do you see? What reason that you don't want to teach your secret for making the bread? Amar Lam, so they said to them, he says, Yodim Ayosha, Beis Abba, Shabbai said, they knew in our father's house, we, it was known, we have a tradition, that they knew this base of Migdash, Asi Lecharib, is going to be destroyed. So, Sheva Yomod, Adam, Shena, Maybe a person will learn how to make the bread who is not straight, who is not a proper person. And he'll use it. To, he'll use this knowledge to serve avodazar, to serve to serve idol worship. Uh, uh, okay, in the same way that, that he knows. And and uh, it, uh, he, but there was aldabrazeh uh, maskirnas and l'shavach. But the same the, the same family that was mentioned negatively, they are mentioned for something else for praise. Why is that? Because he never found refined bread in the hands of their children. Shalayomu said, nobody should say, nobody should say what? That, that, that for making the bread, they are they're to save themselves. They're, they're, they're taking things in, inappropriately. And they're, so they're dispelling any, supersti- any suspicion. As it says, so they fulfilled what it says, you'll be clean, you'll be pure from, from Hashem and from Israel. Nobody will suspect you. So Beis what happened? Beis Avtinas, they knew the secret of making the incest, and they didn't want to teach anybody how to do it. Tana Rabbana, we learned, Beis Avtinas, Beis Avtinas were experts in making the, the incense, but they didn't want to teach it. The rabbis sent, okay, but have you money, Bill Magzandri, Shomitzrayim, they brought experts from Alexandria in Egypt, by Yodim Lefatim, they knew how to compound these, uh, you know, to, the grinding and mixing of the spices, kibosim, just like, just like Beis Avtina. So, the only thing is, they didn't know how to make the smoke go up straight the same way that Beis Avtina did. So, for the, by, 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 what, because what happened was, so by, by the Beis Avtina, they would go up straight like a stick, and it, it, it would go up like a stick and go straight up. Okay, kamakel, kamakel. We'll go up like a stick and go go straight up like a stick, a stick. Shalalu uh, mafzia, uh, but but uh, but uh, but from the from the experts of Alexandria, it would disperse from side to side, lakana lakan. Because Shemuel Chacham Bedavar, when the rabbis heard this, that they can't, that they're again, that they're not successful. They said, Everything Hashem made, He made for His honor. Everything that Hashem made is for Him. So okay, these people know how to do it. it must be it's their job. We have, to, we, have, we have to get them. Okay, okay. Bechazu beis avtinas. Again, they wanted to bring back beis avtinas and come into their place. Shochu lehem chachamim. So the rabbis sent after them to come, but lo bo, they didn't want to come. Nuflem kaflem scharon ubo. They doubled their pay and the, and then they came to to, to take the job again. Bechol yom ayu not lishnei masomon. Every day they would take twelve mana. Vayom masim varba. Now today twenty four mana. Rabbi Yehuda Meir says no. Chol yom masim varba. Every day they took forty eight. Vayom arba yimushmana. Every day they took probably twenty four. Vayom arba yimushmana. Today forty. The rabbi said to them, What's the reason you don't want to teach your secret to everybody else? 
So remember they said, Yodi Mayu Shabai Saba, they knew in the house of our father we have a tradition, Shabai Sa Asi Lichar, that this temple is going to be destroyed. And they said, Okay, we're not going to teach anybody, Shama Yumadab Mashana Mahugan, maybe a person will learn who's not proper, but Yele Khabara Barazar Bakah, and he'll use this knowledge to go and serve the idol worship. Okay, another thing, Abbas Aftinas. Even though we, we remember them negatively, for this we remember them positively. Why? I mean, the Otsakala, no bride went out from this family, and the brides never went out of perfumes from their houses. Why? And, and furthermore, no if they would marry a woman from another place, they would make a condition with her, that she won't go out, she won't perfume herself. Why shall Yomru the people won't say, they're using the 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 Ictores to perfume themselves. The Kaim Hashanemar, again, to fulfill what it says, be in the Kim Hashem Israel, you'll be clean from Hashem and from the Jewish people. You won't behave in a way that allows people to suspect you. Daniel, I'm Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Shmuel said, Pama Chasa Yisi Mahalak Baderech. One time I was going along the way. Matzati Echa Mene Benehem. He says, I found one of the grandchildren of Beis Avtinas. Amarti lo avosecha. So I said to you, he says, your fa- your 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 families. He says, who didn't want to teach anybody the secret of the incense. Bikshu laharbos kvodam. They wanted to increase their own honor. Rotz lemayin kvodamakam. They wanted to minimize the kavod of Hashem. Achsha, what happened? Now the base of Megiddo was destroyed. Kavod makam mukama. The honor of God remains in its place. Umiyed kvodam. But their honor, their honor is, is gone. Why? Because nobody needs no, their work is, is, is they, have, they have no work to do. They're gone. Amar Rekiva, Rekiva said, Sachli Rabbi Shmuel, Rekiva said, Rabbi Shmuel to Ben Luga, Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Luga told me, Pamachas Yitzati Aniba Echem B'nei B'neihem, one I was, one time I was out, with one of the grandchildren of Beis Avtinas, Lesod Alakasav, I was in the field, uh, 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 picking grasses, for Isi, and I saw, uh, 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 I saw uh, uh, him, I said, Socha Kabocha, I saw him laughing and crying, Amarti Lo, Mifnei Ma Bechisa, I said to him, Ma Bechisa, why did you cry? Amarli said, I cried, Kavod HaSeish Nizkati, I remember the honor of my, of my, of my, of my fa- fathers, okay, which, we, we, you know, I guess which is no longer there, Mifnei Ma Shachakta, so why did you laugh? Amarli, so he said to me, Asin HaKashashya Kodesh Baruch Hu, Ma'achzir Lana, because HaKodesh Baruch is going to return it to us again, the honor is going to come back to us. I, Mifnei Ma Nizkati, what made you think of these things, what made you remember these things? Amarli, he said, he said, he said, Mala Ashan, the herb that's called, the one that makes the smoke go straight up, Kenegdi, I saw it right opposite me. That, that herb that makes the smoke go up, I saw it. Hareuli, so I said to him, show it to me. Omar he said to him, Shui bi we have a vow. We have a vow in our hands. We don't show it to anybody. Amra Biochan Menuri, the Cholodam, we don't show it to anybody. Amra Biochan Menuri, he said, Pamachas Matsasi Zokin Echad Umagila Samani Biyadam. One time I found a certain elder, and there was a, there was a, a, a scroll of, with a spice list in his hand. Amarti Lo Mayana, I said, From where are you? Amarti Lo Beisav Tinas, and he said, I'm from the house of Atinas. So, okay, so I asked him, Amarti Lo Beisav what's in your hand? Amarti he said, I have a scroll with a, with a list of spices. I said, Show it to me. Well, he said to me, He says, as long as that's my father was there, that he wouldn't give it over to anybody. But now that that's my father's no longer there, he says, I'm giving it to you. He, okay, it's for you. And be careful with it. Don't show it to people who aren't, who aren't proper. When I came and I spoke over these things to Rabbi Kiva, Amarli he said to me, he says, from now on, and now on that he gave it over to you, you're forbidden to, to speak negatively of these people anymore. They fixed it, okay, they finally handed it over. Mikan, for now, from the fact that, that, that you see that they wanted to push away base Garma and base of Tinas because, uh, 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 but, they, but they couldn't. Amar Ben Azay, Ben Azay said, Ki b'shimcha yikarucha, he, he, by the, he says, he says uh, a person shouldn't be afraid that somebody else is going to take away his livelihood. Why? Because the Pasuk says, by your name they're going to call you to come back to your place. And they're going to bring you back to your place. So you see that what? So, and from your own, and from your own, from your own uh, sustenance, you know, saying that the heavens that's decreed for you, that's what you're going to get. It was all set up. What are we meaning to say? Nobody can touch what was prepared for his friend. What's yours is yours. One kingdom doesn't 
doesn't usurp the other one even even a hair's breadth. It's time each one, each kingdom gets exactly about the time supposed to be there, and then the other one comes in. Everybody gets what belongs to them. Nobody can take away what belongs to you. Hugos ben Levi, etc. We, we talked about Hugos ben Levi is able to sing in this very unique way. Tanya Kashur, and he didn't want to teach it. Tanya Kashur, you know, in Kolo ben Ima, okay, when he wanted it to sing in a very beautiful way, Machlis Godlo Tokpi, somehow he put his thumb into his mouth, and he would put his, his, his finger. Uh, his that's by the index finger between the, in the between the between the hairs of the mustache, like in the place where they divide, you know, uh, on the upper lip, okay. And somehow that would somehow that would make uh, this incredible sound. And somehow that, that somehow that the other kohanim that the that the his brothers the kohanim would be would be thrown backwards. Uh, uh, um, uh, but we'd be thrown all at once. They would be all thrown backwards at one time. Tana Bana we learned. Ben Kamtza Lotzer Lamed Is Masa Eksa. Ben Kamtza didn't want to teach this uh, special way of writing for for, for writing. Amor Love they said about him. Shaya Notel Arba Komus and Ben Esposav. He was able to take four uh, four pens uh, between his fingers. Imaisa Teva Shel Arba Osios. If there was a word of four letters, Haya Kosum Bavasechos. He would write them all at once, all the four the whole four letter word in one shot. Amor Love they said to him. Marisa Shelo Lamed. He says, he says, he says, he says, he says, he says, why did you see fit to, uh, to, to, uh, not to teach you? Remember the other houses that we talked about, they had an excuse. They told us, they said the reason was that they didn't want somebody improper to use it for Avodah Zarah. Everybody else found an answer, a reason to defend themselves why they didn't teach Ben Kamsa didn't find a reason to defend his actions. Okay, are we showing them our, about the first ones? It says, Zechor, Zechor, now we have to see who that's talking about. Zechor, Sadik, Lebracha, ble, uh, the remembrance of a Sadik is for a blessing. Well, Ben Kamsa, Bechaber, never Ben Kamsa, and his and the, those like him. Okay, it says, Vashem Risham Yerkov, the name of the wicked will rot. My Vashem Risham Yerkov, okay, uh, the Gemara wants to know what does it mean the name of the wicked will rot? I'm Rabbi Lazar, Rak Vivus, Tala Bishmosam. What's going to mean? It's going it, that their names are going to are going to get rusty. It means to say what? They're from from this use, like you don't use a thing, it gets rusty. From this use, they're going to get rusty. Why? The lo maskina Bishmayo. Nobody will name their children after this name. The name will go out of will go out of use. The Gemara says, oh, is that true? I'll show you Kasha. I'll share the, the, the name of one of these guys was in use. And he says, Masi Ravina, Ravina Sakasha. He says, Maisa Bedog Ben Yosef. We learned that there was a, there was a, there was a Maisa by Doeg, the son of Yosef. Remember, Doeg was a famous Russia. Doeg Edomig. Maisa Bedog Ben Yosef. Shani Chu Aviv. Okay. Ben Katalimo. Uh, there was the case of Doig, the son of Yosef, where the father left him. He died. He died. Uh, ben Kotlin. He died when he was a young man and left him to the mother. Every day, the mother would measure him with with a tefak, with a measure, to see how much he grew. And every day, the weight of what he what, of what he grew that day, she the base of Mikdash. She would give his weight in gold, the amount that he grew every day to the base of Mikdash. Because Shigabar Oyev, and when the enemies when the enemies overcame Yisraelim, Rachmanas Tabachta Bachalata, she she shechted him, she killed him, and she ate him. Allah Konin Yemiyo, and this Yemiyo cries out. He, he mourns. Im tochlenu nashim piyim ole ole tapuchim. Is a woman. So the pasuk should translate: Will a woman eat their their fruit? Their fruit the, the, the young ones that they take care of, tipuchim, but here it's going to be tvachim, like the young, the young ones that they measured. You know, saying it's like a pun on the word. Meshiro HaKodesh Romeris, and then in the continuation, in the continuation of Eicha, it says what? That the, 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 the divine spirit answers back to the Navi. He says, is this going to happen? He says, Im Yohag B'Mila Shekoyim B'Navi, and will, will a Kohen and a Navi be killed in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the sanctuary of Hashem? He's talking about Zechari B'Yoyada, who was both a Kohen and a Navi, who was killed in the Beis HaMikdosh. Okay, Chazi. Uh, 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 so the Gemara says, any case, I said, okay, but anyway, we have a kasha. So we we showed you that here that this baby was named Doeg after uh, after uh, after Russia. So why do you tell me that people don't, don't name people after Russia? The answer is Gemara says, great. Chazi, my son, he says, you're right. Look what happened to me, and you see, it was no good. We don't do it. They they did the wrong thing by naming after Russia. We don't do it. Amar um, Lazar, he says, Tzadik me atzmo. Okay, when, when there's a tzadik, he's mentioned for good because of himself, on his own, by, by himself. Okay, Rasha mechaver. It's also mentioned. He's also his wicked friend. Tzadik me atzmo. How do we see that the tzadik mentioned on his own? They'll see zechot tzadik lebracha. It's here the remembrance of a tzadik for a bracha. But Rasha mechaver. Rasha we see it's also with his friend. They'll see v'shem rishoyim yirkav. It's written in the plural. The name of rishoyim of wicked ones in the plural will rot.
Okay, so therefore he's also mentioned together with everybody else. Amalei Rabbeinu Allahu Rabbanon, Rabbeinu said to a certain one of the rabbis, who was, this rabbi was, was organizing, was ordering, he would, he would teach over the Haggadic teachings in front of him. Where does this come from? What the rabbi says, that the tzaddik is remembered for good. Amalei said, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, where is it from? It's a pasach. It says in Kohala, it says that the remembrance of a tzaddik is for a bracha. He says, no, I want to know in the, in the five books of Torah, in the Torah, in the five books of Moses, where is it? Where is it? He says, because I'll tell you where it's written. By Hashem Omar, because Hashem said, but by Avinu said, I'm a chasani me Avram Asher ani osa. He says, can I hide from Avram what I'm going to do when it came to Sodom and Gomorrah? We see when it's written, we have Ram Ayuyia the guy God of and at the same time he blessed him. And he said Avram is going to be a very great and mighty nation. So when he mentioned Avram, he also blessed him. Me no hamil Sodom Rabban, and he also asked him, so where is this? What the rabbis say? Shem Rishon Yerukav. Where does it come from? What the rabbis say that the name of the wicked will rot. I'm relating it in a back dog, see, because it's written, for shame you shame your cup. It's written the what? That the name of the wicked will rot. That's what the Pussy says. What do you see? He says, don't be derisive. No, no, I want to know where it is in the five books of Moses. The Chsiv, he says, Viala Sodom. He says, because it's written, he says that he, he pitched his tents all the way down to Sodom. And when it mentioned Sodom, then immediately it says, the Chsiv, it says, Vanche Sodom, Roy Bukhatem the Shemod. said, the people of Sodom. Are very are very wicked and very sinful. Exceedingly are wicked and very sinful, exceedingly sinful to Hashem. So you see that at the same time that it said the, that, that that he mentioned the people of Sodom, he said bad things about them. Amra Lazar Tzadik. He says he says he says Dar Bein Shnei Rishayim Lama Mesaim. He says a very interesting word. He says that there was a Tzadik who lived with, with two Rishayim and he didn't learn from their he didn't learn from their ways. Uh, uh, okay, Rasha. And a Russia lived with two righteous people and he didn't learn from their ways. Who's a tzaddik who lived amongst two wicked people and didn't learn from them? That's Obadiah. He, he lived amongst Ahab and Izebel, who were two wicked, wicked, wicked people. Ahab and Izebel. Russia, Dar Ben Shnei Tzadikim, Velo Lama Hashem. Who's the Russia? Who's the Russia that lived, lived amongst two Tzadikim and didn't learn from their good ways? The Esav, that's Esav, okay, because he lived with between Yitzhak and Rivka and didn't learn from their good ways. When you learn the bracha of Rishayim, the blessing of Rishayim, you also learn the klala. We'll see in a minute the klala, the curse of the wicked. And from the curse of the wicked, you learn the blessing of the righteous. Let's take a look. From the bracha of tzadikim, you learn the curse of the Rishayim. And notes in the place that Hashem blesses the Rishayim, He curses the, we blesses the righteous, He curses the, the wicked. The Chesivas is written by Avram, Kiyadati, we say by Avram, Hashem says, Kiyadati, I know that He's going to command His family after Him, etc., etc. Hashem al Avram, so that Hashem should bring these good things upon Avram, what He spoke to him. And it's written afterwards, uh, and so He spoke, He said, He said, We blessed Avram. But after that, it's written by Yom Hashem, Hashem said, Zaka Sadom, the, the cry of Sodom and Amor, which is very great. And then, when, then in the continuation, it says, if, it's, if, if, if like the cry that comes out that way, they did, it's destruction. They're going to be destroyed. So he blessed, where he, where he blessed the tzaddik, he, he cursed the Russia. The same thing from the, well, the curse, from the curse of, the, of the wicked, you learn the blessing of the righteous. We're going to see the way he curses, the, we're, 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 Hashem curses the wicked, he blesses the righteous. The people of Sodom, it says, are are wicked and sinners to Hashem. A curse. Okay, and after it says, Hashem Amar al Avram, Hashem said to Avram, after 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 Lot separated from Avram, it said, it doesn't quote, it says, Son Elecha, lift up your eyes, etc., which is what Hari Bracha, he's blessed him afterwards, what he's going to get. Of the Omar, Rabbi Lazar said, I feel the Tzadik Echad al He said, The world is created even for a single Tzadik. Okay, Shinemar, as it says, Vayarli Himasa Arkito, Hashem saw the light is good. Hashem saw, knows Hashem saw fit to keep the light, to maintain the light for the sake of the Tzadik. And that's how we learn. But ain't Tobal Tzadik, Tobal is a Tzadik. Shinemar says, Imu Tzadik Kito, says, Say Tzadik Kito. So, we, so therefore, Hashem is able to keep maintains the light for the sake of the tzaddik. said, Any person who learns negligent, who, who negligently forgets 
you know, it does behaves in a way that causes him to forget what he what he one thing from his learning. Goyim Golis he he brings about exile for his children. Rachmanas Shneiros it says, Okay, he says he says you'll forget the Torah of your God. Eshkach Menecha Gamani that I'm also going to forget your children. Rabbi Abba or Rabbi Abba says. So the punishment is that they, they remove the guy from his greatness, from a position of greatness. In other words, it says, He says, he says, he says, you despised, you, you denigrated um, knowledge, and also I'm going to despise you from serving me. I'm going to take you away from your position of greatness. I'm Rabbi Chiyabar Abba, I'm Rabbi Yochanan, he says the following. He says, he says, the name of Yochanan, ain't Tzadik Nifkar in Olam, Achin Nivra Tzadik Hamoso. A Tzadik doesn't pass away until uh, until Tzadik Lechem was created. No, the Hashem already already precedes the new Tzadik before the old one passes away. Shemar as it says, Bezorah Hashemash. It says, it says, it says, the sun rises Uvah Hashemash and the sun goes down, which is the opposite. What do you mean? Why does the sun rise and goes 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 down? The answer is Ad Shelo Kafsa Shem Shel Shel Eli. That, for example, before the the son of Eli uh, uh, was extinguished, Zorah Hashem Shel Shel Shmuel. The 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 son uh, Shmuel Arati. The son of Shmuel Arati, the Navi, had already had already risen. So Shmuel came and took was already born to the world before Eli left the world. He says, he says also in Rabbi Yochanan, Rakodesh Baruch Hashem, Tzadikim Muatim. Hashem saw that Tzadik Tzadikim are few. Amar Hashem behold over the Rosh Hashem. Hashem got up and did what? And he planted the Tzadikim in every generation. He spread them out through all the generations so there will be Tzadikim everywhere. She never said, Kila Hashem Metzuki Aretz. Uh, 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 for, uh, to Hashem are the pillars of the earth, the things that are going to hold it up. That are going to the, the, okay. The, 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 those are the tzaddikim. By Yasha Salem table, and he's going to rest the whole universe upon them. He's going to rest the whole world upon them. So he spreads them out so they'll be able to hold up the world. He said, "Even for a single tzaddik, the world is maintained." Shneimer, as it says, "But tzaddik is all the tzaddik." Is the foundation of the world. Rechia did they Amar? Rechia said it. Then said in his own name. I know it from here. Radi Chasid of Yishmar Hashem will will guard uh, the the. Uh, uh, it says he guards the, the, the feet of the, the, the feet of the legs of the <coughs> of the tzaddikim. But it means to say. Uh, It means for the sake of, in this way we're reading Ragley, for the sake of, due to, for due to, for the sake of the tzaddikim, Hashem is going to guard other people. So we're reading here Ragley, for the sake of. Another case, uh, uh, so the Gemara says, Kasha, one second, it's a chasidav. Okay, two, what do you mean? You said for a single one, it says chasidav in the plural, for the, for the, for the, in the plural for the saintly ones. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, mashma. Uh, two of two mashma. The fact that it said in the plural, saintly ones, two of mashma. It sounds like a lot. And you can't learn that for a single tzaddik the world is, is maintained. So, Amr of Nachman Baritzak, he said, Chasido, see, you're written, but you're right. But it's in, in the past, it really, even though we read Chasidov, it's saintly ones in the plural, but what's actually written is Chasido without a yud, which would mean a single saintly one, the way that it's actually written. He says also incredible principle in the name of Rabbi Yochanan that once a, once a person, the majority of a person's life has passed, his years have passed, and he didn't sin, he's not going to sin anymore. If a person makes it through the majority without sinning, he won't sin after that. Shinever, as it says, Ragle Chasidav, here reading Ragle as the end. The end, regular calls to be the end of something. The end of the of the of his of his chasidah, of his saintly ones, Yishmar he'll guard. In other words, once they once they once they came to the so to speak this concluding way, okay, he'll 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 keep it going. There was whatever's the end, he keeps going to the end. The way Rabbi Shilo Amar, they learn like this. Came to the Rabbi Avera, Pamushona Ushnia, and a chote, a vein a chote, shuvin a chote. He learns like this. He, he, if a person has a chance to do an Avera, to do a sin the first time and the second time, and he doesn't do it, then he's not going to do it. Then he's not going to do it. But once he, with the first two, one or two times, he, he stays away. He won't do it after that. Shneimer, it says, Ragle Chasidav Yishmar. Here it's going to be like the seasons. Two seasons, he's going to guard the, he's, the, the, he's going to guard the saintly one. If two seasons he doesn't sin, God's going to got to save him from from sinning already in the third time. Amrish Lakish, he said, "My to the mockery, he's going to mock, 
and to, but to the righteous ones, he's going to give. He's going to give uh, favor. In other words, you're going to learn like this: that Hashem, that Baldi Tommy Poskino. If a person wants to wants to make himself unclean, they, they leave a place for him, but they don't stop him. Okay, but they don't help him. Okay, Baal the Tamer said, so when a person wants to make himself pure, the heavens come along and they help him, actively help him. Don't do every sure that's what that's what you learn. Because in love who you taint saying he's gonna give it. Ton of Baby Shmuel, Masha the Baby Shmuel learns you what is this is this is a parable to understand it. The other shaya mocha and neft of There's a certain person who's selling both neft, which is a stinky, a stinky liquid that burns, okay? And 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 the balsam, which is very good smelling. Ba Adam uh uh limdod, okay, neft. When a guy wants to come and buy Neff, the stinky one, Omela, so the merchant says, go measure it out yourself. Well, he doesn't, we don't want to get around the stinky liquid. Well, Limdo, the first one, when the guy wants to come and buy, and, and, and measure out to buy to buy perfume, okay, this balsam, Amarlo, he says, he says, wait for me, I'll measure it out together with you. Okay, so both you and I, both I and you, will smell good. Okay, and therefore the same way. When, when people come to do sins, okay, they don't, the heaven doesn't help them. They just leave them a place. When a person comes to do good, they help him. Uh, I'll stop here, we'll, we'll finish the list tomorrow. <clears throat> Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.